To sell commercial licenses at Adobe Stock, any content featuring recognizable people or property must be submitted with a signed model or property release. In this day and age, many people prefer paperless options whenever and wherever possible. Adobe Stock has provided a great option to go hands-free using Adobe Sign for releases. You can generate these releases inside the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. Hi, I'm Adobe Stock Artist Evangelist Matt Hayward, and in this brief video, I'm going to show you how to generate and apply Adobe Sign release forms. Alrighty then, I've uploaded a batch of images. Most of them feature recognizable people, including the most recent upload, which is this woman holding a Great Dane puppy. Clearly she's recognizable, and so I need to let the system know that yes, there is a recognizable person in this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes under that question, and that's gonna open up the release prompt. And so one thing I can do is search for an existing release. If I've already worked with this model and have a model release on file, I can select that release and attach it to this image. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new release. And so when you click the create a new release, you see this prompt for either attaching a JPEG hand-signed release, in which I've got another video online that shows you how to do that, or for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna click create a release with Adobe Sign. I have unsaved changes, would I like to save them? Why not? That's my keyword and title and all that fun stuff. And so here we're prompted to enter the model's information. And so we're gonna call her Bernadette. Last name, model, email address 123 at Bernadette.com. Spoiler alert, that's not her real name and that is not her email address. Next, we're gonna attach an image, a reference image of the model. So I'm gonna click Attach Models Portrait and I'm gonna select the image from my hard drive, hit Open, that attaches it. We review the request. We see this information is going to be added to the template, her name, her email address, and my name as the contributor. I'm going to go ahead and hit send request, and off it goes into the interweb, into her inbox where she can click to sign. Voila! We have magically arrived in Bernadette's inbox, and this is what she sees. Adobe Stock requests your signature on model release. She's going to click review and sign this blue button. And that is going to show her the release. She is then going to start by clicking this little yellow arrow. She confirms her name. She's going to enter her date of birth, which is April 1st, 1900. She looks great for her age, wouldn't you say? She is female. Her ethnicity is Caucasian. She lives at 123 Main Street. And her phone number is area code 425-123-1234. And now she is going to click here to sign. She can type in her name. Click apply. The signature is now seen on the release. And then to finalize the deal, she clicks this blue button on the bottom that says click to sign. And she's all set. Her job is done, and now it's up to you, the contributor, to seal the deal. Okay, we're now in my inbox, me, the contributor, and this is what I see after Bernadette signed her copy. I'm going to go ahead and click the blue Review and Sign button. I'm going to click the Start arrow. You can read through all the definitions. I'm going to click here to sign under the Artist Information. My name has already been stored here, and so my information has been added. The date is automatically added. I'm just going to click the blue Click to Sign button, and I'm all set. I'm now back in the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal in the New section of the Uploaded Files tab. I've got this image indexed, ready to go. I now just need to hit Search for an existing release, and I will find the Adobe Signed Release Bernadette model in that list. I select that, and I can see that the release is now attached. There's a green check mark adjacent to the thumbnail showing me that the image is ready to be submitted. I'll click the Submit One File button, and that's all there is to it. My name is Matt Hayward. Thanks for watching. I've got plenty of other videos online for you to discover how to navigate through the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.